India has successfully tested a precision-guided high-speed low-drag HSLD bomb weighing 500 kilograms, which is the largest bomb locally developed by the country so far. During the flight trial in the western state of Rajasthan, the 500 kilograms general-purpose bomb was released from Indian Air Forces (IAF) Su-30 Mk-1 aircraft. The bomb has been developed by the Armament Research and Development Establishment ARD, of the State-Owned Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The trial covered ground adaptation, carriage and handling, limited separation and release of the bomb. Sukhoi 30 MKI released PGHSLD 500 fitted on station 05 forward 06 from an altitude of 5 km at 900 km to verify separation performance and to estimate stability. As the contest to supply a new fighter aircraft to the Indian Air Force IAF, heats up, the MiG-35 has emerged as a viable candidate. India is supposedly seeking about 220 single-engine fighters to replace 11 squadrons of MiG-21 forward 27S that entered service in the 1990s. Rosoberan Export is believed to have offered a licensed production deal for the twin-engine MiG-35 that would compensate for the IAF's reluctance to proceed with the Indo-Russian fifth-generation fighter aircraft FGFA, project. At the Mark's 2017 air show in July, Alya Tarasenko, Director General of Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG, said, We are actively working with the IAF in order to win the tender. Russia has committed to a 40-year maintenance and upgrade contract to preclude the support issues that have arisen in the past with Russian aircraft in service with the IAF. Meanwhile, also at Marx, Sergei Kimizov, CEO of the Rostk State Corporation, told reporters that a decision on the design and development of the FGFA would be made in the nearest future. He did not provide a timeline for the project, a version of Russia's Sukhoi T-50, which has been under discussion between the two countries for the past decade. The US said it was up to India to clinch a deal to co-produce F-16 and F-18 fighter jets, adding that the agreement would enhance interoperability between the two militaries. We strongly support these transfers Alicia Wells, a senior State Department official told a subcommittee of the House of Representatives on Thursday. If India can seize these opportunities, we can enhance interoperability between our militaries and support thousands of jobs in both countries. India is in the market for the joint production of single-engine fighter jets, and US firm Lockheed Martin's F-16 and Swedish Saab's Gripen are competing for the contract. The Indian Air Force is expected to release a request for information RIF, in two months. The alacrity with which the government has moved with its defense policies, clearing and finalizing the strategic partnership policy and integrating it with the new defense procurement procedure, has come in for huge praise from engineering conglomerate Lairson and Tubro. With defense contracts worth more than $34 billion hinging on these decisions, Giant D. Patil, whole-time director and senior executive vice president, defense business, l &T, says the momentum should not be lost, for getting to initial operational capability will take additional time. Like other private sector defense majors, l &T has been waiting in the wings for multicore defense projects to take off, and is hopeful of bagging some six contracts amounting to 40,000 crore. Given the emphasis on indigenous technology, Patil averse balancing technology and declining budgets could be a tough call for certain private defense players who do not have any track record with a defense project. Thanks for watching. Sources for the today's news is in Defense News blog post, links are in description. Please hit that like button if you like our video and don't forget to subscribe India Defense News.